Hey, how's it going, my guys? It's your boy Swift, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to create an Instagram pop up tag just like Jake Paul in his videos. How every time he introduces someone new in the vlog uh, or a video, he adds that little tag on them, and every time they move, it moves with them. I'm going to show you how to create that. So, the programs we're going to be using today is Adobe Photoshop, KineMaster, and also Pixel Lab, where you can create your own animated text and stuff like that. So, 3D text, um, text in general so that's really awesome and the all these apps i'm using in this video are free and i will leave a link in the description on how to get photoshop and you can download the link to kind master and pixel lab in the description below they are both for free on google play store and they are both the full version so without further ado let's jump right into it so i'm going to create a new file and uh, the canvas size is going to be 920 by 1080 and click OK. And that is it. So now you want to click on this plus button up here. Then you want to click on download. Click on this. Click on that. And just, you know, make this bigger. And I'm going to make this, uh, like, about here. That's about, well, good. That's good. And now I'm also going to add the same thing again, but with a triangle. And, um, yeah. So about here. That's good. I'm going to drag this to the bottom. And I'm just going to make this a little bit more, you know, fatter. So that's good. And now I'm going to click on this. Click on Select Pixels. Click on And. Fill in Stroke. Click on Fill Color. And pick the eyedrop. And just pick the color. And click tick, and you're done. And now you guys can merge these together. Merge down, done, and you're done. And now you guys have the tag here. Yeah. And now you, all you guys want to do is you want to just also do the same thing again. Click on this button right here. Click select pixels. Click on and fill in stroke. Click on this, and I'm going to change the color to a nice, more grayish type of color. So we'll go here, move this down, and I think this is the good color. And I'm just going to transparent, make this uh, to about 85%, and I'm going to save this as a PNG. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to save this as a PNG, and yeah. Alright guys, now that we're back on Pixel Lab, all you want to do is you want to click on this uh, plus button right here and click text, and then click edit, and I'm just going to write, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to write the name of my channel, so I'm going to write at Swift, click done, and click OK, I'm going to center this, and I am going to put this uh, different uh, type of font, So yeah, that's good. And obviously the size we're going to make bigger because we don't want it to be small. And you want to click on here, click on transparent, and click on the share button up here and click save to gallery. And then go back out, click on this, the one we created just now, before. Click on that again. Then you want to click on this, click on to pixel lab, click this, that. We see you want to make this a lot smaller. But, all right. And then you just want to go back out of it. And then keep doing it again. And just to make it the perfect size. That's good. Now uh, go back out. Click save as copy. Click on this. Click on that. This. That. That. Okay. Uh, now all you want to do is you want to... Um, Add in a video you want. I'll go back to you guys once I added the video I want. All right, guys. Now I just want to click on media browser. Click on here. Click here. And I'm just going to add in the same part where I am. Um, so right about here, I'm just gonna um, add no fade, zero fade, zero audio. Also, 
I hate when this happens. And I'm going to get to the part so about maybe here. And I'm just going to cut this. And I'll go back to guys once I have added in this stuff. Alright guys, now I'm just going to click on layer. Click on image. Click on here and click on this. And obviously I'm going to scale this and make it to the same size I want it to be at. So about here. That's good. And now what I want to do is I want to actually um, make keyframes to where I'm going to uh, add the actual animations and make it uh, animated. So I'm going to click here. So we're going to go to the first keyframe. Guys, now let's just play this through. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's the voice And that is good. So now we're going to click on uh, audio. And now let's just hear this. So let's just play it to about here. To maybe about there. And click on this. Click on that. Click on trim. And done. And let's just move this to the beginning. And let's play this through. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's the voice That is awesome. And that is basically how you make an Instagram pop-up tag just like Jake Paul. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like below. Let's smash 20 likes on this video for another tutorial. Comment below what you thought on this video and what you want the next video to be about. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already for my daily content. Turn on my post notifications so that every time I upload, you'll be notified. And you'll be one of the first people to watch my videos. And follow me on Twitter so that every time I upload a video, there'll be a link for that video I just uploaded on that tweet. And you can just click on it and it'll straight away allow you to watch the video straight off Twitter, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, thanks for watching, and Swifty signing out, peace.